Taurus, welcome to Alexander Tarot. This is going to be a bonus love reading for Taurus. And for those who have Taurus placements, check your chart for your placements, Taurus. Um, as always, cross watchers, you're welcome here. Keep in mind that energy is fluid, so the roles may be reversed. You may flip the messages as needed if necessary. Never force the reading. If it's for you, the messages will be fluid. Never force the reading. Okay, guys? Also, if the reading resonates, be sure to tap that like button or leave a comment. It lets me know you want to see more of these videos. Um, please be engaging, guys. It's pretty boring to post videos with, with and people not being um, engaging. Um, and it also helps me to connect with your energies, all right? And if you're interested in a personal reading, you can click on the link in the description box below, all right? So the first thing I wanna do to start this reading, Taurus, is I'm gonna pull your current energy and I'm gonna pull your person's current energy, all right? So show me the messages for Taurus. Okay, what's Taurus's current energy? Show me Taurus's current energy. Show me the messages I need to see. Thank you so much. I'm truly grateful. Show me for the messages that I need to see. Show me Taurus's current energy, please. Taurus, your current energy is the Eight of Swords, okay? Someone right now just feels stuck. They feel powerless. They feel silence. They feel restricted. They feel like they're in a situation where they feel they can't get out of. And that's the energy that I'm getting from you right now, okay? The thing is, you have the ability to get out of the situation, okay? The ropes are very loose, but you don't know it. You feel stuck, but you have the ability to get out of that, all right? So show me Taurus's person's current energy, please. What is Taurus's current term? Show me Taurus's person's. And you could be connecting with the Gemini, by the way. It could be any sign, though. Five of Cups. Right now, there's, there's, there's been a breakup in this connection. But someone just feels helpless and hopeless about this breakup. Um, and as your person, I feel like there's this loss. There's this disappointment as well. But this person tends to have relationship problems. And there's a lot of negativity, a lot of negative energy, a lot of grief. So if you were wondering if your person is hurt by this breakup and or separation, they are devastated, all right? So show me the messages for Taurus. Okay. Show me the messages. Oh my God, your cards are flying out. Someone just feels like they're giving up on this connection, okay? It could be the both of you giving up, feeling like this is a defeated situation is what I'm getting with the, um, yeah. With the seven of wands reverse, I feel like it's draining and it's like you're giving up. You're not hearing from your person. Your person is not hearing from you. It's just like this is shattered. And I feel like at this point, you both feel like we can't recover from this with, with, the, with the nine of cups reverse. Like, this is over. This is really over this time because usually at this point, you two get back together. Okay. Um, I get the energy of somebody feeling like they're not enough. With the ten of swords reverse, it's like somebody wants to be forgiven. They want to rise above these problems, but they feel like they're not enough. Like they feel like the other person would reject them. They're in disbelief, by the way. And I feel like that's your person with the five of cups has their current energy. Okay. Yeah. Again, I'm getting 10 of cups reversed. Feeling that the energy of feeling like this is hopeless. Like this is really over this time. Okay. But meanwhile, with the four of wands, there is someone, there's a desire from somebody here to want to, you know, come together. They want this reunion. They want to feel like they belong. Like they want to feel like their person wants them. They want to bring balance into this connection, but they don't feel like it's, it's possible. They feel like it's hopeless because that's this four of wands is next to the 10 of cups reverse. Okay. You could be connected with the cancer Scorpio or Pisces. Yeah. Someone here just feels like 
they feel neglected from their person. I feel like, again, you guys are mirroring, mirror, mirroring the same energy. There's this energy of you feeling neglected from your person, your person's feeling neglected from you. And you both are internally like grieving each other at this point. All right? It could be a Libra that you're connecting to. Also, I'm getting Aries, um, Leo, Sagittarius. What was the breakdown here between Taurus and their person? Show me the breakdown. Somebody is very emotionally immature here. Somebody may need therapy, but they're refusing therapy. They're very intolerant. Like when it comes to even talking about their emotions or attempting to talk to them about their feelings, they shut down, they shut out. Look at that. Yeah, the Hermit Reverse. This, like, this person is like, there's some sort of fear here. So they they isolate themselves. They're, they're, there's a, an energy of avoidance, of avoiding their emotions and isolating their emotions. In my, in like isolating themselves okay you could be connecting with a virgo yeah anytime you guys try to talk about like long-term commitment i feel like this person stonewalls you they shut down they change the subject they do whatever it is to withdraw it's all manipulating you're not imagining this this person is absolutely stonewalling you and that's what's caused caused the breakdown here it's like this person is not willing to invest. Um, why is this Ace of Pentacles here, though? There's going to be some sort of... Now, I'm telling you, at some point, there's going to be some sort of breakthrough. I got the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles. There's, the Aces is about new beginnings. There's someone... There's going to be some sort of change in some sort of manifestation that's with someone here wanting to come in with clarity, wanting to communicate their, you know, about this, communicate about this, this relationship and wanting to invest. So even though this person tends to run away from it now, I feel like they're not going to be able to do that forever. But there is this breakdown of somebody just trying to manipulate you because they, they're trying to avoid talking long term with this person. Like they don't want to even think about the future. Talks about the future makes this person shut down. Okay? Because they're very emotionally immature. Show me more about this person, please. For... Sagittarius. I mean, oh, Sagittarius. You could be. You may be connecting with a Sagittarius. Show me more for Taurus. I'm telling you, there's gonna be some sort of fulfillment. Some things are gonna change between you and your person. You can be connecting with a Leo. Okay, I'm also getting Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. It could be your, your energy, Taurus, or you could be connected with another Taurus. I'm getting Scorpio energy. Definitely going to be a reunion and a new beginning. Okay, with the world, with the Six of Cups, this is somebody from your past that intends to return. They're going to return at some point, okay? But you may ask, why hasn't this person returned yet, right? Why isn't this? And when they are going to come back with transparency, honesty, happy, it's going to be so, it's going to be so much happiness. Why hasn't this, this person returned yet? You already know there's some sort of fear, but Eight of Cups reverse. This isn't over though. The Eight of Cups reverse tells me this, this didn't end. This person is returning. It's just that right now, they just haven't made up their mind about when and how they should do that. When, how they should go about offering their cups. Should they gift you? Should they send you a message? They don't know because they don't want to be hurt any more than they are. They're really surprised by how hurt they are in this connection. Because the more they realize, the more hurt they are, the more they love you. All right? So show me this person's current feelings. What is their current feelings now for Taurus? They feel that you pull back your emotions with the Queen of Cups reverse. They feel like you moved on. Like you're like I said, they there's this energy of they figured that by now that y'all would be here from each other, but this person feels like you've moved on. But th that doesn't change the fact that they want you two to come together. Two, three of cups and three of pentacles. They want you two to come together and they want a reunion with you. They know this. They're just afraid that you will reject them. That's why they haven't come forward. Tell me more for this person's feelings for Taurus. Yeah. Five of, of wands. This person feels, they feel conflicted right now. 
They're not sure if you're gonna will if you're willing to like want to come together, wanting a new beginning, wanting it to work is what I'm getting. All right. So show me, show me Taurus's feelings for this person. Show me Taurus's current feelings. When the cards come out sideways, I put them back. I only read uprights and reversals. Show me this person. Your, I mean, your feelings for this person. Some of you are just focusing on your work right now. Okay, Eight of Pentacles, you're just trying to keep yourself busy as much as you can because you don't know. You feel like this is your soulmate. You were made for each other. You're willing to take a leap of faith, but you're not willing to do it first. You're just not. You're not. You're not willing to reach out first. But I do have, um, you could be casting with a Gemini or an Aquarius. Yeah, because with the Page of Wands reverse, you feel like, this is somebody who you can't count on. You're like, it doesn't matter. Like, I I want this to work. I do feel like this is my soul work, soulmate, but this person doesn't know what they want. And that's the problem. Page of Wands, reverse. You feel like this person doesn't know what they want. And you're like, so therefore, I'm not making that move. Show me more for Taurus's feelings, please, for this person. What is Taurus's feelings for this person? Yeah, the magician. If anything, you're like, you're trying to manifest this person back into your life. You're like, but you're not reaching out to this person. You're not willing to do it, okay? You could be connecting with a Virgo. Show me the challenges for Taurus when it comes to this person. What is Taurus's challenges when it comes to this person? This person devastated you. You're just as hurt as this person, okay? And it's like, how could I commit to this person? Like, are we ever, how can we have a solid commitment with each other? How can we invest in each other? How can we get to that point where there's so much heartache? And then this person, this person keeps hurting me. So with the nine of wands, I get this energy of you standing your ground when it comes to this person. Like I said, the energy that I'm getting with this card is that you're not willing to reach out to this person no matter how much that you love them. And your challenge is to see it any other way. Show me advice. What advice do we have for Taurus? Sometimes when I ask the cards for advice, they show me the situation first. Again, you feel like this person is unstable and reckless, but you do want a new beginning and there is going to be an opportunity for a new beginning with this person. I got the Ace of Cups and Ace of Wands. I feel like I pulled this twice, either in this reading or I did this in another reading, but I keep pulling like aces. There's definitely a new beginning that's come that's available between you. I got all, look at this guys, this is what it is. I have pulled all aces, Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Swords. I can't stress this enough. There is a new beginning that's coming from this person that you feel is unstable, that you feel like it's over with. Is it somebody that you can't rely on, somebody that you can't trust, somebody who you feel like lacks stability and security. They're coming in with a passionate new beginning and they're wanting to invest in this and they're coming in with clarity. What advice do we have for Taurus? Definitely, uh, definitely a new beginning with this person. Very strong Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. This is definitely not over. Show me advice, please, for Taurus. Oh my God, Taurus, your energy is right there with the Hierophant. Yeah, there's gonna be clarity. This person is gonna come in with some clarity, some honesty and truth. They're gonna have their, their cup open to you. They want a solid commitment, the Hierophant, all right? With the Will of Fortune, Reverse. No matter how you feel right now, that's you're getting an illusion that this is over. It's not over. But again, with the nine of wands at the bottom of the deck, again, stand on what you feel when this person comes forward. All right, you're standing your ground. You feel guarded when it comes to this person, but there's gonna be recovery after tower moments. There's a transformation that you guys need to go through. And I feel like with the nine of wands that you're, re you're resisting, you're trying to resist this change because you're trying to self-protect. And this is why I said you're not stuck in this situation. You have the ability to get out. You have the ability to move forward. You're resisting a change. 
So the advice is to face it, to sit with it, process your feelings, and release them. Because there is a new beginning coming, but it's requiring movement. Yeah, you look at you. With the two of pentacles reversed, you feel like this person can't commit. There's an inability to commit. Like, you can't see it any other way. But meanwhile, the king of wands is here. Somebody who wants to come in, take leadership, come in and and get things going again between you two. But the way it should be. Okay, so the advice for you is, again, to sit with your feelings, process them, and release them. There's a need for you to sit with them. The Four of Swords is about contemplating energy. It's about resting. It's about finding what gives you peace within. Because you need to get to a place of peace. Because you cannot pull neg um, positive energy from a negative space. And right now you're in this negative space. But the only way for you to see that other way is to get out of it. Because you have it in, in you. You're trying to manifest a new beginning with this person. This person is trying to manifest a new beginning with you, right? Yeah, this person recognizes with the King of Pentacles reverse that they've been somebody that you couldn't count on. They're tired of seeing themselves that way, especially because they see you as everything that anybody can ever desire as the Queen of Wands. So with the Nine of, of, of Swords reverse, this person is like... They want to recover this. Yes, they're afraid. They're, dead. They're, they're insanely afraid that you're going to reject them. Deep-seated worry. Deep-seated fears in the Nine of Swords reverse. But in spite of those feelings, this person ultimately will come forward. There will be a new beginning. All right? So before I close out this reading, I'm going to pull some love or cool messages. All right? Use your discernment. If Don't be in the comments saying, I don't want to give this person another chance. Just use your discernment. You know, you decide what you want. You do have free will, but all I can tell you is what I'm feeling. And this person is coming in with all the clarity, all the passion, and they want to invest in a new beginning with you. And they're just, they're tired of, of hurting you. They're tired of hurting themselves. All right? So show me the messages for Taurus. What do they need to see? Shuffle it one more time. Romance, Cupid's arrow strikes. Yeah, the destiny, the destiny. The universe is literally bringing you two back together. You guys are destined. You guys are soulmates. Secret admirer, someone has deeper feelings for you than they're letting on. Mm -hmm. This person is like, damn, why does this hurt so much? No one has ever made me feel this way. Because they're realizing just how much they love you. Deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what feels right. Because as much as you try to resist this, you know that this is somebody that you love and this is and you want this person to come in with the kind of commitment that you've always desired. And now is the opportunity. Look deep within your heart and you will you will feel my love. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. So this person ain't speaking. But they're trying to send their emotions, their their feelings to you telepathically. And I feel like when you think about this person, they're thinking about you. When you're up in your head at night thinking about this person, they're thinking about you. Embrace. Through each other, you find the missing pieces. Yeah. This is so beautiful. I love this for you. So those are the messages that I have for you, Taurus, for this reading. If it resonated, be sure to tap that like button. Leave a comment. Be engaging. It lets me know that you want to see more of these videos and that... I can connect to your energies, all right? Click on the link in the description box below if you're interested in a personal reading. I wish you healing. I wish you love and light. And I'll see you again on the next one. Bye.